Ezekiel chapter 47. And he brought me again unto the door of the house. And behold, waters issued out from under the threshold of the house eastward. All right, there again, you go, uh oh. We got a problem. We got water, waters coming out underneath the door. For the forefront of the house stood toward the east. And these directions I get, I, I, I can't get directions. And the waters came down from under the right side of the house. I mean, who could make this stuff up? Here's a house. Here are walls and gates and a threshold and water at the south side of the altar. Then brought me, then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way without unto the utter gate by the way that looketh eastward. And behold, there ran out waters on the right side. Remember, this is the millennial kingdom. And when the man that had the line in his hand, a measuring rod, read, went forth eastward, he measured a thousand cubits. And he brought me through the waters. The waters were to the ankles. Old kind of spelling. But that doesn't change it. Just put in the in the margin. Old English way of spelling ankles. Again he measured a thousand. Now we're two thousand. And brought me through the waters. The waters were to the knees. He measured a thousand. Three thousand. And brought me through. The waters were to my loins. Getting deeper. And he measured a thousand, four thousand, and it was a river that I could not pass over. For the waters were risen, waters to swim in, and a river that could not be passed over. And he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen this? Then he brought me, and he didn't give Ezekiel a chance to answer. He brought me and caused me to return to the brink of the river. Now when I had returned, behold, at the bank of the river every very were very many trees on the one side and on the other. And he said unto me, These waters issue out toward the east country and go down into the desert and go into the sea which being brought forth into the sea, the water shall be healed. And it came to pass that the fishers, wait a minute, verse 9, and it came to pass that everything that liveth, which moveth, whithersoever the river shall come, shall live. And shall be a very great multitude of fish. I don't like fish. Hopefully the Lord will change my, my palate. <laughs> Everything in the Bible seems to be around fish. Because these waters shall come thither. So here is this river, these waters, coming from the house... And it gets deeper and deeper and deeper. And in these waters are fish. For they shall be healed. And everything that liveth whither the river cometh. And it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it from Engedi unto Engilium. And they shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kinds. The fish of the great sea. Exceedingly many. You know the world worries about, you know, you, 
you know, the, the fishes are becoming extinct, the animals are, don't worry, God will take care of it. Now, he may get to the point where he's not going to feed the heathen and the unbelievers anymore. And he'll turn you over to the devil and you're not going to eat unless you take the mark. But the miry places thereof and the marshes thereof shall not be healed. They shall be given to salt. So the marshes and the little inland kind of areas of this river are salt water. The river and the waters itself is fresh with all abundance of fish. And by the river upon the bank thereof, on this side and on that side shall grow all trees for meat. So you see, in the Bible, meat is not necessarily pork, fish, chicken, beef, whose leaf shall not fade. I wonder what color it would be. Neither shall the fruit thereof be consumed. It shall bring forth new fruit according to his months. So here is a tree of fruits, different fruits by the months, Jewish months. Because there are waters that issue out from the sanctuary. And the fruit thereof shall be for meat, like the garden, and the leaf thereof for medicine. Well, that's interesting. Now let's take our Bible to Revelation. 22. We are in a new heavens, new earth, and new Jerusalem. Revelation 22, verse 1. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, preceding now the throne of God in the Lamb. Now this is in heaven. What we just read in Ezekiel is the millennial earth kingdom. In the midst of the street of it, street, singular, not streets, on either side of the river, there the tree of life, right? it's not the tree of life in Ezekiel, but here's the tree of life here. Wait a minute. In the midst of the street of it, one street, on the side of the river, either side of the river, that means, let's say, north and south. Two sides. Was there the tree of life singular? How do you get one tree on both sides of the river? On either side of the river, there was the tree. All right, maybe its branches flow over. Which bear twelve manner of fruit. I don't read the Old Testament. It's no fun. And yield her fruit every month. Sound familiar? And the leaves of the tree were for healing of the nations. Not the Christians and not the Jews. Now, I got in a fight with my grandpa about this, and we split fellowship together because some knickerbobber, cock and pookin' liar taught him in a Baptist church reading from uh, um, Pilgrim's Progress at the Open Door Baptist Church taught him that us Christians will have to eat of this tree of life when we get to New Jerusalem. I tried to, look what it says, healing of the nation. That's right, I named the church. 
That church is all fouled up today. And probably tw twice as triple more than what I've heard wor word about it. And verse number 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments. I don't do his commandments. That they may have the right to the tree of life. And to enter through the gates on the city. Alright, go back to verse 2. Yield her fruit every month and the leaves of the tree for the healing of the nations. Those that get the, the, the new heavens, the nations, will have to come into New Jerusalem. And for salvation, they're going to have to keep the law and eat of this tree for eternal life. That's not the Christian. While the Jews get the new earth, I said the Gentiles get new heavens. I may have said her. The, the nations get the new heavens. The Jew gets the new earth, I believe. Christians get new Jerusalem. That tree has nothing to do with Christians. That tree has nothing to do with the Jew. Their salvation will be the offerings and the law. Adam and Eve were not under the law, but they could have had eternal life through the tree of life. But they chose the tree of, the, of knowledge of good and evil. Now we go over to Psalms chapter 1. Verse 3. And he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his seasons. His leaf shall not wither. Whatsoever he does shall prosper. <laughs> now we don't become trees when we go to heaven, but we're likened to those trees. Those trees in the millennium and those trees in the eternal life are a source of nutrients, are a source, a source of medication. We are to be a source of nutrients. And the healing of people's lives are messed up by bringing them the gospel. It's that plain and simple. 